We are who we are because God has made us the way we are. We're new creatures in Christ Jesus. Greetings, dear ones. Thank you for checking in again today and glad to be with you. I'd like to start off with a verse as we did last week, but this time from Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. And it says, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Now, as you recall, if you were with us last week, we talked about a potter and the clay. And in a spiritual sense, the potter is God and the clay is you and me. Now, in an actual setting, the potter takes a lump of clay, throws it on the wheel. Now, that lump of clay is a shapeless mass. It was, it's unbecoming. It was kind of like the way you and I were before we came to Christ. But when we come to Christ, then, then he begins to work in us. And we mentioned very clearly that the, the work that he does starts on the inside and works its way out, just as a potter does with the vessel that he's making, whether a cup or a bowl or whatever. And if you call in the verse that we just read, that it says, he who began a good work in you. So the work begins on the inside out and then comes ends out. Now, as the vessel becomes the shape and size that the potter desires, then he decorates it somehow, he paints it. And that's usually the case. Some might be plain, some might be quite ornate, but all of it, whatever it is, the exterior is not meant to bring glory to the object, but to bring glory to the one who painted it. Let's remember that because sometimes when we see that God has worked in us and we're so wonderfully different than we used to be, we start to think, I'm pretty good now. And we start to take that on ourselves. Let's be careful of that kind of prideful thought. We are who we are because God has made us the way we are. We're new creatures in Christ Jesus. So now, once the thing is painted, the vessel, is it, is it ready for use? Well, not quite. It needs to be glazed. Now, you know, I don't have anything I can actually say about that. Uh, no analogy, let's be sure of this. No analogy matches reality. And far, far, uh, just like that, this one is falls far short of, you can probably find flaws in my logic, but I hope there's a point here and there that is salient to you. So he puts the glaze on it, and then, then it's ready to be used. Now, as it's used, it gets dirty, just like anything we have. We've got dishes, we've got cups, bowls, whatever. We use them, and they get dirty. As we're going through our lives here on earth, as Christians, we're going to pick up the defilements from the world. We need to be clean. How do we do that? Well, one way is to walk and keep in step with the Spirit. Another way is to deny ourselves and pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Another way is to be in the Word constantly, regularly. And another way is to pray and to listen, Fred, when you pray, listen to what God has to say. I really need that for myself too. So in so doing, then hopefully we become uh, a vessel that God can use every day. And that's what we really want to be. So I ask you then to consider this. And hopefully again, as I said, there is some point in here that was meaningful to you. And I hope that's true. To God be the glory. And until next time, then we'll see you in a week or so, Lord willing. God bless you and keep you and take care. Bye-bye.